السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکات و شراغ لست بخی خوش آلاسم چه تاسینن زمور سر دودی پا خواهی زمور سر نن دودی پا خواهی نن مرش چلاو پا خواهو Welcome to Afghan Cooks I'm Miriam, I'm the Afghan who cooks and sometimes does other things but today we are going to make a basic a staple of Afghan cuisine and that is white rice which we call chalau okay so really simple folks uh, I don't want to lie to you okay it's simple but it takes practice you will probably not get it right the first time and that's okay as long as your rice is soft it's edible that's all you're looking for for the first few times I highly recommend that you watch this video from start to finish and then follow the steps in the recipe below so that you can perfect this. This rice is unlike any you will have ever had before. It's a very unique way of cooking and the smell is just spectacular. Let's go make some rice. So here I have three different kinds of rice. If you're making chalau, which is our Afghan white rice, you need to buy a long grain rice. Now, there are people that came at me when I said it's basmati rice, and I don't know what kind of rice you wanna call it. There's some sela rice, which is a kind of a parboiled rice, but as you can see, this is a fairly long grained rice. Okay, there's the long grain rice. Not jasmine rice, okay? Jasmine rice is wonderful, but it has a very different kind of uh, smell, okay? And that's not what we use. This is a short grain rice, which you use for things like shola or uh, rice pudding. And this is arborio rice, which is a beautiful, very starchy rice that you use for risotto. You can also use it for shola. It works wonderfully and for rice pudding. The way that it's measured is, I think they say a half a cup of dry rice for every person. Okay, that's a serving, maybe it's a quarter cup. I don't know. We are going to do a lot more than half a cup or a quarter cup per person, okay? We're going to do four cups of rice, which is about eight servings. And when I was growing up, we never had like a measuring cup. It was just a pela or glass. Uh, which means glass or cup, right? Just anything that you have, which is similar to a cup. Actually, I'm going to do five, okay? And now what we're going to do is we have to rinse this. All right, so come over to the sink with me and we will rinse the rice. can see how cloudy that water is. And you can see the water is much clearer than it was when we first started this whole process. When you're done, with your final rinse, you leave the water in it. Because now we're going to soak it. Come on, let's go back. We're gonna leave this anywhere from 30 minutes to four hours. If you only have 30 minutes, my suggestion to you is add warm water or hot water to this because you want the individual rice grains to soak up some of that water and get a little bit plump. So you're almost pre-cooking it sort of even before it goes in the boiling water. And that's the interesting thing, folks, when we come back later on, we are actually going to cook at least the first part of this in boiling water and we're gonna cook it like pasta. So it's kind of a neat way to make rice. Gotta boil. Which one of my very many colanders should we pick? This is my favorite one. Okay, I'm gonna strain off some of this water real quick. 
These spoon spatulas are super handy. As you can see, I have a bunch of them here. I'm gonna add all of this. And that is just going to boil for between five and seven minutes. We only want the grains of sand, <laughs> the grains of sand. We want the grains of rice to be al dente, okay? We want them to still be a little bit, um, have a little bit of bite to them, be a little toothy. You don't want them cooked all the way. We're gonna let this come back up to a boil. Oh, I should turn the heat back up. Okay, we're going to check. It's perfect, okay? Here, let me show you what I'm looking for. You can see, oh, let me turn this down. Here are the grains and you can break it with your finger, but it doesn't mush. Let's strain this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to our pot, some oil, just some vegetable oil. And in this pot here, I'm going to add a little bit of water. It's about a half a cup, some oil, about a tablespoon. I'm just going to add a little bit of cumin seed. This is not brown rice, it's not palau, it's chilau, it's white rice, but we still want it to have a little bit of flavor, okay? So we wanna add just a little bit of this, some zira. You hear that? We don't want any of the other liquid left in here, okay? We're turning this on. We're gonna let that cook a little bit. Watch carefully what we do. It's not that serious. <laughs> I just wanted to make it seem like it was much more serious than it is. I need a towel. I need aluminum foil. We're gonna add the rice back in here. We're gonna turn this down low. And we're gonna take this mixture that we made here and pour it over the top. Now what we wanna do is because this is gonna steam, we wanna make some areas where the steam can come from the bottom, okay? So you have to make a couple of little holes, all right? Some areas where the steam can come out. The first thing we do is we take our aluminum foil and we cover the pot. Make sure it is on there very tight. Maybe the first couple of times you make this, you know, I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it to the top. This makes sure. I actually think that this is just sort of traditional from the times before we used uh, the, the aluminum foil. This is how the, the pot would sit and then the steam would go up and it would get captured into the towel. And that was a very good way of doing it because then the steam would get absorbed into the towel. This, in fact, makes it take a little bit longer to cook because the steam isn't getting absorbed into the towel, but it is still a marvelous way of doing it because all of the steam stays trapped inside. Don't come at me and tell me it's not right. I know that what you should do is just put this directly on top of there. But I don't believe that this is tight enough to keep the steam in there. So don't come at me, okay? You will anyway. Now, we are going to leave this here for about 30 minutes. And then in 30 minutes, it will be ready to serve. We'll come back in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. We are going to show you my mom has a way she listens to it. And if you can hear it click, it's cooked. I mean, I heard it clicking the entire time. So you can see that this rice, all the grains are separate. Individual grains. Ah, look at that. So simple five minutes of washing, seven minutes of boiling, and that's pretty much the extent of what you have to do. So it's a really easy dish. It takes practice to get it right, but that's okay. A 
And there you have it. Afghan chalao, Afghan white rice, a staple dish that you should have in your repertoire. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am asking you ever so kindly, since you're here and you got some knowledge from this video, please subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so that you'll know every time we have a new video that's uploaded, it's at least once a week. Um, and leave a comment. I love to hear what you all have to say. I especially love it when you make a recipe and it works. It makes me so, so happy. Until next time, peace to you. Bye. Hello, how are you?